A full shutdown for two years would be a disaster and a catastrophe for everybody from the workers of Canarsie to the bartenders in Williamsburg. It would just be a mess. What buildings like this, you see it on Court Street and you see it in Dumbo too, less than it used to be, but people are, it's related to their commuting patterns. And it's a blessing to work and live in Brooklyn and not have to go into Manhattan. The reason these areas are happening is the L train. I don't think anyone knows what's really gonna happen here. It's currently having a chilling effect on real estate. It's a wait and see. There's probably 10 or 12 office projects in this area of various scale. So this, hurt, this doesn't help. But it's going to happen anyway. Brooklyn is growing, the county's growing, uh, jobs are growing, creative people. There'll always be people that need space. Projects are all going forward. Everybody I know that's doing one is already going forward. The only thing that's for sale around here was for sale uh, a few months ago. And people are going ahead. It's going to affect different tenants different ways, but for the most part, it's going to be somewhat similar to when the bow of the Titanic met the iceberg. If you did a survey of, of people walking by, I would venture to say that 30-40% of them said they got here by the L train. A small tenant who is well positioned, who serves their client base, can presumably survive. But someone who opened up recently anticipating a steady flow of clients, customers and visitors coming from Manhattan on the L train, should there be a permanent shutdown, it's going to have a significant catastrophic impact on their business. Almost every project that's in the pipeline and that has been built recently prominently features in their market material the proximity to the L train. There is a yin and a yang to everything in life, so it's going to have a positive impact for some folks who may be able to achieve a lower rental. But on the other hand, someone who pro forma a project based on a certain projected rent who doesn't achieve it could find themselves in trouble. If there were to be a permanent shutdown, I expect that what you're going to see is a lot of people refiguring what's appropriate in terms of a market rent. And it's likely that even some existing tenants are going to go to their own hat in hand and say, listen, we can't survive on the current flow of business. We need a reduction.